Let's make pilori, one of my favorite snacks to eat. So to make this, in the bowl I have my flour. So to my flour I'm adding in split pea powder or split pea flour. So that goes in yeast, salt, turmeric and sugar. And we're going to give that a mix so that it's well incorporated. Once those dry ingredients are mixed in, go in with your green seasoning mixture and mix that in to incorporate. Once your green seasoning has been mixed in, you're going to add in your water a little at a time while mixing. You don't ever want to add all of your liquids at once. So add and mix and you're going to add enough to create a very thick batter. It's going to be much more thicker than a pancake batter. Now, if you didn't want to add that split pea flour to this pilori mix, you can make this all flour. It's up to you. So you'll see I'm adding in my water and once it comes together and it's a nice a thick consistency like this, don't add any more, stop. Give it a mix and mix it well for about five to eight minutes. See that? Nice and thick. Go ahead and cover it and allow it to rest for 30 minutes. Now to my frying pan, I'm adding in oil. You'll need enough oil to fry these, so I would say about two inches of oil. Next, let's check on that pilori dough. It's risen, it's looking really beautiful. Now I'm taking my small cookie scoop and I'm using this to help me make the bowls. If you don't have one of these, you can use a spoon or you can use your hands and drop that into the hot oil. You can test one pilori, make sure that your oil is nice and hot. You want it to be on a medium low heat so that they cook properly all the way through. And I'm going to add the rest of the bowls in and these are going to fry for about six to eight minutes until they're golden and they're cooked all the way through. The bigger you make them, the longer it's going to take. So always test one to make sure. Now let me break into one so you guys can see. You see the green seasoning speckled throughout the pilori. Really soft and really delicious. So once they're nice and golden and they're finished frying, go ahead and remove it from the oil. Allow it to drain properly and then continue to drain on paper towels. And that's it, your pilori is ready. So to serve my pilori, I love serving it with tamarind chutney, which you can also find in this book. The page will be listed for you. So thank you for joining me to make one of my favorite Trini Street foods, pilori. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.